Hello and welcome to another Raggies, Bears, Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to do a, it's a re-review. Well, someone picked, a uh, woman I work with at work, she picked it me up and I thought, well, waste not, want not. And uh, I mean, as this channel's still developing anyway, you know, I've only got 45 subscribers anyway, which is uh, very low still, um, with, a, with over 200 reviews. And uh, so... You know, sometimes I'm going to go back to beers, uh, you know, and sometimes, obviously, it might, they might get more views simply because there's more people watching. We've only got more people who subscribe one of these days, but hey -o. So, from St. Ost, Austell Brewery, this is Big Job. I nearly called it something else a bit ago, but... So, it's a double IPA, bottle conditioned, 7.4%, so decent bit of uh, strength in there. If a job's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. A big beer, dry as a, a bone, and jammed full of marisot and malt, and as many ops as we could get our hands on. It's not subtle, but if you love the taste of big powerful ops, a big job will be just a job for you. And like all bottle conditioned beers, um, you've got to store them upright because there's a little bit of sediment or a bit of yeast basically in the bottom. Now, I bought a load of beers the other year when I was at Sainsbury's uh, when we had a beer festival and I didn't have the beer room then, so I had nowhere to store them. So I put them underneath the plimps in the kitchen. And uh, so I'm dragging these beers out, I nearly dropped the bottle then. I'm dragging these beers out and there's all bits floating in all the beers and I'm thinking, what the hell is this rubbish? Turn them up normal ways. Within a day or two, the sediment had gone and basically it was all in the bottom. So, you know, don't always be worried if you see bits in the beer. It's not always, a, you know, it's not a sign that it's off. So, contains natural yeast, store bottle up right, keep cool. Careful to leave the last bit of beer and any sediment in the bottle. It's not going to hurt you though, sediment, it's a bit stronger, you know. I, I personally won't worry a bit. Um, these will have less sediment than what we would do if it was home brewers. So, let's give it a pour while I'm still not freezing. St. Austell make Tribute, which is one probably their top um, rated uh, beer, or, or most well-known beer, should we say. So I have reviewed this before, and I did give it a good review. So, slightly hazy, uh, golden colour with a very thin white head. So it'd be interesting, and this is where, I don't mind doing re-reviews because, um, a lot of beers I've reviewed in the summer months, we're now in the winter months, and blimey as it turned. I mean, we had a very long winter last year, tiny spring, super long summer, which was the most amazing summer, bar the fact that I'm trying to water plants and everything's dying, you know, the stress levels are through the roof. Um, and then, very long summer, very short autumn, and then back to blooming winter again. So it's like the, the two other seasons have been condensed into very minuscule amounts, which is throwing all the trees out. Um, you see my breath in here now, wow. Um, so yeah, it's throwing everything out of balance. I presume that in years to come, they'll have to um, re... With crops in this country, they'll have to basically you know, rethink and, you know, redo um, so that they, they make the most of the weather or make crops that can withstand the, the, the ridiculous variation in weather. But anyway, so it's poured a lovely colour there. It's slightly hazy, if I'm being honest. Plenty of carbonation and lacing. The head's gone. But probably matches me. My head's gone as well. Oh, lovely smell straight away, and very, you can smell them hops straight away. And 
You can also smell the strength of the alcohol as well. Definitely, you know, that 7.2%. Yeah, 7.2%, definitely showing through. So, uh, bottoms up. Straight away, big hot flavour in the taste. Goes down, Pl lasting hot flavour as well as it goes down in bitterness, you know, really. You know when you're drinking quality, I mean, I can't tell it's seven to point two percent, but it, it's really nice. And oh, it's freezing in this in this room. I need to get a gas bottle and warm it up a bit before I do beer reviews. <sighs> Take the chill off. Plus, I've got to do some decorating in here as well, and uh, do a bit of repainting. Put the beach wall up that I've got, and. Uh, Set up all the games consoles because, like most blokes my age, 47, you know, don't let this grey hair fool you. Um, that's down to stress and anxiety, uh, my Achilles heel. But yeah, I'm going to get this turned into a proper room, you know. I'd love to put a, a wood burner in here, you know, and, uh, you know, have it roasting hot. But um, one day I will, one day I'll actually put the funds aside and actually do it. But anyway, less of me, more of the beer. So yeah, real quality to this beer. Oh. And like so many of these beers that say they're, you know, they're great on hops, and yet you drink them, and there's nothing there. I mean, I had a beer, I mean, if anybody's watched these um, reviews before, I had a beer called Hop Bon. Can't remember who made it. And it was the most disappointing beer because whatever the bomb was, it wasn't in the bloody hops because there was nothing there, you know. And uh, whereas this, you know, it does what it says on the bottle. There's plenty of hops in there. You know, lovely taste, lovely aftertaste. Good smell, you know, good aroma off it. Quality. Definite quality. It's to me this is the IPA equivalent to King Goblin, which is one of my favourite beers, you know, one of my top five beers. If not my favourite, you know. It's an absolute quality beer. This to me, you know, and it's not just because it's of the strength, because of the taste on the nose, you know, the whole package really. Just a pity it comes in the small bowl. But then again, I am freezing. So probably a good thing it's not in the large bowl. And I've been at work all day. Been up since five. It is now five o'clock now. Did the full shift at work. Work like an idiot, like I normally do. Part of the problem with stress and anxiety is it affects everybody in different ways. Mental health issues, you know, massive and you know, never would I ever, you know, do anything like suicidal, never. But obviously, I you have that fight, and drinking beer doesn't help, because I have that fact where I've, <clears throat> I'll have a beer at night, and it settles me down, chills me out. I wake up in the morning, especially if I've drank one or two too many, and then in the morning, if I'm feeling rough, I think, right, that's it, no beer. And then you'll have a day at work, and you'll be stressed, and then I think, oh, sod it, I'm having a beer. And vicious circle, but the tablets no good because they just swallow you in, you know, you go inwards. But doing beer reviews, talking to a camera and nobody watching, probably, you know. You know, for me, it's great because one of these days, it, you know, it may lead on to other things. And uh, even if it doesn't, for me... I get to try out a lot of different beers and I've got an excuse for doing it. So, you know, this uh, it's got its win factor as well, you know. But this, anyway, back to St. Austell, this this beer. Big job. I'm sure they've got a beer called Proper Job. Um, I'm not going to keep the review going too long because this is quality. Make sure you buy it. I got this. Um, it was picked up at Co-op for me. And it was reduced to 150 a bottle. Uh, 
was two quid, now 150. You know, 150 for a bottle of quality. You can't fault it, you know. So, second review on this. Absolutely nails it still. Very happy. So, St. Austell, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, brewery from Cornwall. You know, they're obviously brewing some cracking beers. That is bang on the money. And the only downer is the glass is empty. The only downer. So, hits the spot on every note. You know, bar the fact it comes in a 330ml bottle. But obviously, you know, there's reasons for that these days with the government and uh, whatever. Um, so, a score out of five. Uh, I cannot remember what I gave it last time, but I'm going to give it a whopping 4.65 out of 5. It is just a quality. You know, make sure you get yourself some. Make sure you try it. It's absolutely bang on. Co-op do it in this part of the country uh, from out where I'm from, Nottingham. Uh, Morrison's do it as far as I remember. Can't remember if any of the others do. Maybe Tesco's, but Tesco's for whatever reason have destroyed their bloody range of beers. It's like they've got rid of half the bottles just recently and it's just decimated their range of beers. God knows what they're thinking of. You know, it's so disappointing. So you've got Tesco's and Sainsbury's beer ranges are absolutely, absolutely rubbish. Um, uh, uh, Morrison's are the kings of the beers, um, you know, and as do a, a second, and then, and I would say that Retro's, Marks and Spencer's are actually above Tesco's and uh, Sainsbury's now. With Asda and uh, with Audi and Lidl slightly behind, because obviously smaller stores can't uh, have such a big stock, big stock of you know, product anyway. Right, thanks for watching. It is freezing. See you soon.